Hey everyone, so uh, I'm just gonna show you what I got for my birthday. So I treated myself, um, my husband gave me some money so I was able to get myself some new watercolors and I've been completely enabled after taking, well, not just after taking a REITs course, but by um, just by her beautiful artwork and the colors. I've always been a huge fan of Daniel Smith. I've bought um, like tubes, every now and then to build up my collection. It's a small collection, but Daniel Smith's colors are extremely rich, I find, um, which is why I love them. They're my favorite watercolors. When I was taking Reet's course, um, the floor, latest one, the floral one, which I'll, I'll link to below, I just had envy over her colors. Now I have a lot of colors, I've got white nights as well, but um, I've also got a Shaminka um, dot card, which I'm, I did do a video on before. When I saw Irit's colours, just a colour palette, I thought, right, okay, I'm just going to take the plunge and get the colours that she recommends in the course. Um, so I have here half pans, um, and it didn't feel right putting these five little half pans into the, into the basket, and it coming to like over thirty pounds. I was like, oh my goodness, it's such an expensive hobby. But I'm really hoping this will change. Um, well, sort of inspire me and change my artwork a little bit. So um, what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to unwrap these. And I've got some of this magnetic tape. It's got adhesive side um, and I cut them and then I stick down my half pans into this gorgeous tin that I have, which is fast becoming quite small, but this is perfect for traveling. Um, so these are my Daniel Smith. So I'm going to add the Schmincke in here. Then this is the old colour chart. Now I'm going to update it, so I'll do that in this video. Um, but I also just quickly wanted to show you what else I got. I bought myself one of the um, Carandash Fluoro uh, pencils. Now I use mainly pink, so um, as opposed to greens and yellows. Uh, so I picked up, because these aren't cheap, they are like over three, well, in the shop I went to it was over three pounds, but I thought, well, I'll try one of these because obviously I want to, well, part of the course is to use pencils. So um, that was one reason. And another reason is the art marks um, and the the challenges set by Ray, Miss, Ray Missigman. Um, so I love bright colours, so I bought that. And I picked up a couple of colours in the Faber-Castell uh, watercolour pencil range. And I just wanted to, if I get a piece of paper now, let's just try it because I did, a, my last video was on, um, let's have a look, yeah, got some water here. My last video was on cheap set of watercolours and they, were, they were, worked really, really well. So I don't really want to be buying um, too many more at, mi at the minute. And I've also got, um, see that yeah I've also got the ink tents uh, pencils as well so um, I don't I didn't want to go overboard with it so I just picked up a color a couple of colors that I knew that I would use and then um, so yeah I'm actually add some more Yeah, that's a beautiful colour. Yeah, so I can, at least, if you can, because you can buy these singly, you can um, build up your collection slowly. You don't have to buy loads at the same time. So if you find you, you need a couple of colours, um, you, do, you can buy them separately. So, um, yeah, so I've got those. Really pleased with those colours. And next, I'm just going to speed up this process where I'll unwrap these and add them to my colour palette. Oh, before I hang on, I also picked up this one that uh, Irit mentioned, which is the Winsor Newton cobalt violet's an absolutely gorgeous colour so um, I found that and snapped it up.
so um, yeah, the one thing that you notice straight away about the Schmincke, which I've, this is the first time I've ever bought them. The only ones that I've had were on the dot card. But when you open the, okay, so this is the Winsor & Newton. Let me just get the card here. It's a solid, it looks like a solid block of watercolour, but when you open the um, the Schmincke, it's gorgeous. It's like a liquid, I don't know if you can notice. So that's like a, inside, it's like a solid block there. It can probably tip it out and it'll probably come out, but oh, it's stuck in there. But yeah, but this is a gorgeous like consistency. So um, yeah, straight away you can tell the difference there. I've added the, um, magnetic strip to the bottom um and i want to get these in some kind of color order as well so um yeah i'm just going to do that just having this cup of mug of rose tea it's absolutely gorgeous but i love this sentiment on here it says live light travel light spread the light be the light i love this tea um because it's yogi tea you can actually take these off as well and include them in your um journaling so yeah, I thought I'd just quickly mention that. As you can see my color palette has completely transformed um i know i put a couple of colors in the wrong places i need to swap some over but to be honest it at this moment in time it doesn't really matter i can cut out a new card and and do it all again but just as long as i know what which colors are which i'll once this dries i'll um write them down but um yeah that's my color palette has gone from that to that um Oh, so happy with that. The colours that I am really, really happy about are these two for sure. Um, I need to take it in really, but yeah, definitely this one. And the Windsor & Newton, I'm really happy I got that one. So I was umming and ahhing about it. So I'm really happy I bought that because the Daniel Smith's one I love um, and I've always wanted to get, but it's only available in the big tubes. So to get this in the half pan is fantastic. So um, yeah, really, really happy with those colours. And um, I'm definitely going to have to buy a bigger palette. But this is obviously perfect for taking with me travelling and everything. So yeah, I'm really happy with the Schmincke. Um And that is it. These are my Schmincas. Um I need to obviously use them in my... I've literally just watched them. So I need to start using them now in... Um, some watercolour floral work and in my other artwork so I will let you know how I get on this this Daniel Smith's I think it's it's so beautiful it's a car something so I can't see it violet it's a beautiful colour find out if you have if you want to know what that is I'll pop, pop it down below just let me know but yeah these are absolutely stunning colours this little colour chart doesn't do it any justice because there's not enough room Obviously, you know, especially for this one, which is the Schmincke Ruby Red. So I do need to do some um, better swatches in my 
um, swatch book which I have here. Hang on. So in my other down. In my other videos, I do have um, there is should be a video where I've swatched all my Daniel Smiths that I have. Well, I have, say I have. These are from the dot chart, and they're all the five ml colours. Um, they're absolutely stunning. And then these these are the Schmincke. That's the twelve set. And then this is the other dot card that I have. Um, I need to write down which colours are which. The bit I would say the Schmincke are a really fun colour, um, and I do need to use them more um, to appreciate them more. I just find that the Daniel Smiths are very, very rich and vibrant. But like I said, I was really enabled by Irit's artwork and the colour palette she uses. So I thought I would give that a go and see um, how my artwork turns out. So. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just pop them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks, bye.